Hi Aquarius, welcome to your September 2015 astrology forecast and this is a very significant month. We have two eclipses, the lunar and solar eclipse and what's important for you is that Uranus, the modern ruler of your sign, is kicking butt in a sideways action this month and Saturn, your traditional ruler, is shifting signs. But before we get to that, let's start at the beginning of the month because right on September 1st, we have a new phase, a conjunction between Venus and Mars in Leo, opposite your sign. So this is a real strong energy about, it's fiery, it's passionate. You can be having a lot of interactions with other people. And Venus is still retrograde opposite your sign, so that's really positive, like little things that come along. That Oh, that's a little tree. Oh, I haven't heard from that person. Oh, I got a text from someone I haven't heard from for, for a couple of months. Wasn't that nice to be thought of? And Venus goes direct on the 6th of September, and then now she starts moving along. And then the solar eclipse on the 13th, we have, that's where this Uranian energy, your modern ruler, is coming into play. Because this Uranian energy is what's called quincunx. See, the eclipse is at 20 degrees of Virgo. Uranus is at 19 degrees of Aries. So it's only one degree off of this aspect. And so there's this undercurrent of breaking free, breaking free, breaking free. But what are you going to be breaking free of? Part of this is any obligations to others that you feel hold you down or harm you in some way. Now, the eclipse is configured closely, like in your face, with Chiron opposite. An awareness of where you might feel that life could be better if only, if only this, if only this, if this happened, if this didn't happen. That will come up for you, and it may have to do with money. It may have to do with money borrowed, present, or past. Or the whole issue around, if I had, then I could. This eclipse is saying, get over it. Get, move past that. We have a, understand that you are who you are because of the path that you've walked. And there's nothing wrong with that. We have a Jupiter-Neptune opposition going on this month. And this Jupiter-Neptune opposition is, uh, Neptune is about the ideal, the dreams. It also can be delusional, you know, is what I want. Am I fooling myself? But the Jupiter in Virgo says, well, just figure out how to do it. You know, what are the details? What work do I need to do? We have Mercury will be going retrograde on the 17th of September, which is an important day to mark in your calendar. What is going on for me on the 17th? What am I thinking of? Not like an event could happen, but uh, in terms of insight. What insight? There's a depth of insight going on. Mercury is square Pluto and opposite Uranus. And that's sudden ideas and deep thinking, transformative thinking. Then the, later that day, Saturn, your co-ruler, traditional ruler, is shifting from Scorpio into Sag. This will be two more years of Saturn and Sag, which slowly but surely can shift some focus around groups or organizations you belong to, and, and or friendships. Maybe some friends, you come back and you solidify the friendship. Maybe some other people, you don't feel connected with them that much anymore. But it's solidifying. And it's the message is to pay attention to who you feel you belong with, where you feel you belong, where you connect. On the 23rd, we have the equinox. This equal day, equal night, the sun in Libra 
extremely important as it's connected to the north node of the moon, the sun, the center of our solar system, the sun in our chart, the essence of what we want to express for the life that we are given this lifetime. Are you going in the right direction that your soul, your being wants you to, the inner self? And if not, what what do you what steps to take to move you towards your future? This is a movement towards your future. Then Mars going into Virgo on the 24th, that helps with the energy of the eclipse energy that says, well, what can I do about things? What action do I need to take? It helps with the Jupiter-Neptune opposition where here's my dream, here's my vision. What Jupiter and Virgo, what are the little things that I need to do? What are the routines? What can I put in my daily life? And Mars says, okay, just kick butt and get it happening. Now, it is square Saturn. So you may, part of your mind might go, but, you know, you could give yourself all these excuses. Why? But however, it is about moving beyond the apparent obstacles and finding a way around it. Pluto goes direct the next day. Very Pluto power, transformation, intuition. And Pluto, in the sign behind you, is activating your intuition, activating listening to your spirit guides and understanding where you could possibly, uh, your blind spot. Where's your blind spot? So transformation and ideas, thoughts around understanding your, your blind spot. And you'll see that the day that Pluto goes direct, this PowerPoint, spotlight of Pluto vibe, it's square Mercury again, and that depth of thought going deep to get information. We finished the month with the lunar eclipse at four degrees of Aries. So this full moon at four degrees of Aries, it will impact you if you have a planet at four degrees of Aries, Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn. You know, maybe it's your moon, maybe, so you might want to check your own natal chart. Um, if you don't have it, go to my website and I'll send it to you. And you, so, but for all of Aquarius, even if it's not on one of your personal planets, it's activating what else can I learn? What else can I know? And where does judgment fit in my life or in the world? Let me get rid of judgment. Let me get rid of the idea of this is this is the way things are supposed to be. There's a clearing out of old thoughts and old beliefs, an illumination of what they are. Sometimes we think things and we don't really even notice, like, where, where did that come from? It's an illumination around that and opening that up in such a way where there's more freedom for us to communicate, for us to express ourselves in a way that it harmonizes with our inner self and our true being. Thank you so much for listening, and I really appreciate it. And I would also really appreciate it if you are, appreciate you being a subscriber, sharing, or liking. Thanks so much.